I get messages all the time from people saying, you know, I'm starting to understand the bebop thing and the more linear approach to improvisation, but I really love hearing people play those more modern out sounds and those different approaches to improvisation. How do you go about practicing that? Do you just play a bunch of random stuff and hope it works out? There's actually a pretty simple approach that I take to playing out sounds. In this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that without actually playing out at all. Just before I get into that though, have you seen my free masterclass called The Best Way to Create Melodic Solos? It's a 40 minute masterclass complete with free PDFs that go along with it that explain my simple six step voice leading process that you can apply over any song. I've had so many people reach out to me saying how much it's already improved their playing and I know it will do the same for you. Just click the link at the top of the description down below to get it completely free. For this example of sounding out without actually playing out, we're gonna use the song Impressions by John Coltrane. First up, before we get into this simple three-step process, I just wanna get the notes out of the way. This is all about using non-note musical elements to create that out sound, so we're gonna apply those three steps to notes that you already know. Impressions is an AABA 32 bar form. That means the chords in the first, second, and fourth sets of eight measures are all the same, and in this song, that is concert D minor. The bridge, or the B section in this song, is the third set of eight measures, and that's gonna be concert E flat minor. This is a modal song, so that means the minor key is actually based on a mode of a major scale, and in this song, it's using the Dorian mode. Dorian is the second mode of a major scale, so sure, you can think the Dorian scale, but I'm gonna make it even easier for you. Because that Dorian is the second mode of a major scale, we're just gonna think of the major scale. So this means whenever you see D minor, you're actually gonna think C major, because D Dorian is D to D in the key of C. On the bridge, when you see E flat minor, we're gonna think D flat major. So for notes, when you play impressions for this example, I'm gonna be using C major, C major, D flat major, and C major again for the four sets of eight measures. For most people, major scales are the first technique thing you learn on your instrument, so if you're trying to play some out sounds, I assume you already know your major scales. If you don't know your major scales yet, I implore you to go practice them because you can directly apply them to not only this song, but basically any song that you come across. All right, now that we have the notes out of the way, let's talk about the three simple steps that we're gonna use to create the out sound without playing out. The first way to create an out sound is to use larger intervals. In bebop lines or more traditional improvisation lines, the way we're usually taught is to use scales and it's a more linear approach with small intervals. Maybe we'll use some chord tones, which is gonna be maybe a skip of a third, but usually we don't use bigger skips and bigger intervals than that. To create a more open and out sound, we're actually gonna use intervals of a fourth, fifth, sixth and beyond. Here's what it sounds like over impressions, just playing over the A section using the concert C major scale and only thinking about intervals of a fourth or larger. This is a really great way to break out of that linear stepwise sound, but we have more to go. The second thing I like to do to add to the intervals to create that more out sound is to break up the rhythms and the phrasing. What do I mean when I talk about breaking up the rhythms and phrasing? Well, traditionally, when we're taught to improvise, we're talking about eighth note lines that might land on downbeats, using traditional phrasing that goes from downbeat to downbeat, maybe in four or eight note groupings. When I talk about breaking up those rhythms, I'm talking about using a different number of eighth notes in each of the groups, not always just going from downbeat to downbeat, using smaller groups of eighth notes, putting in rests, adding in syncopation, different number of eighth notes, so on and so forth. Along with just varying the amount of notes we're gonna play in each of the groups, we're gonna vary the phrasing by playing across the bar line. This means we're not just gonna be landing on beat one all the time and making that the strong pulse. We might land on the and of two, or on beat four, or on the and of one, or play across multiple measures without resolving at the top of the form or the top of the phrase. Here's what it sounds like when we add those non-standard rhythms and phrasing to the larger intervals, and remember, I'm still only playing notes from the C major scale. The third and final way that I like to create the out sound without actually playing out is to change the direction of the line often. 
Traditionally, lines in improvisation are played in a linear way that go gradually up, gradually down, creating these nice, beautiful, long, sweeping lines. This is great for a more bebop-inspired solo, but if you want that more out, more modern sound, you're gonna wanna change the direction way more often. I like to think about it like bouncing around in the range of the instrument, and it creates a really cool sound. Here's what it sounds like when I implement all three of these ways of sounding out without playing out. Remember, over the A sections, I'm still only gonna be playing the notes of concert C major scale, and over the bridge, I'm only gonna be playing the notes of concert D flat major scale. No outside notes, no other harmonies are gonna be played. I'm only gonna be using the three steps of larger intervals, broken rhythms and phrasing, and changing the direction often. Hope you enjoyed this video and this dive into sounding out without playing out. If you try this yourself, please let me know in the comments down below how it's going for you. Also, if you have any other ideas about how to sound out without actually playing outside the chords, please let me know in the comments down below. This is just another reminder, if you haven't yet watched my free masterclass called The Best Way to Create Melodic Solos, there's a link in the top of the description down below. Click that, you're gonna be able to watch it for free, be able to download the PDFs that go along with it, and you're gonna be able to apply that simple six-step voice leading process to any song that you're working on. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.